And welcome back to the uh, this uh, part of the long run where we are playing uh, Spyro, Year of the Dragon, Reignited. And uh, last time we finished Sunrise Spring, as well as started on Midday Gardens, most notably Star Sergeant Bird's base, so that we can come back here at Molten Crater and super clear that. Unfortunately, we're going to have to do all of the, um... Oh no, we, we're not. This is just open now. Okay, we don't have to do crap, we just go over to the, uh, Sergeant Bird portal over here. Yeah, I'm trying to. seek with my friends if i can't find where they've hidden their heads they won't let me join the tiki lodge help me put them back together and i'll make you an honorary member i feel like this whole tiki stuff going on is like so, sort of offensive to some but why are you flying sideways Sergeant Bird. Oh, those come back. Alright, good to know. Feeling them not particularly useful because they come back. Follow your nose? Ha! <laughs> what about follow this? Missiles are gonna follow your nose. Yeah, getting hit does cause you to drop the thing, but uh, you can just go back to where you picked it up and everything will be fine. That's four of them. It's breakable. Luna. So where is the last one? Where are you pointing to? Oh. Okay, so that's all the gems. Oh, there's a the last. There we go. Take this egg is a sign of your honorary membership to the lodge. 
I mean, I guess I'm the one who actually found all those heads, right? Well, that's never happened before. I hope it's not a bad omen. No, it's quite a good thing, I can assure you. It's returning magic to the to this magicless world. Anyway, back to Midday Garden. And the nice thing is, now our gem total is nice and round. Interesting that it held on to the gems for like that particular animation. Those crummy Rhinox forced us to build a statue of the sorceress. Then after we built it, she complained it was too ugly. Huh. If you ask me, the statue is far prettier than she is. So you might notice something about the music for this area. And that something is, it's a good thing that we've actually... Oh jeez. Really? It's a good thing that we've unlocked Sergeant Bird, because uh, we're going to be requiring his assistance again for this. But yeah, that that is why you should always do the uh, you should always like unlock the buddy and do their stage first. I was right underneath you there, Zoe. Here's our first egg, Gladys. It's funny because it's cute. It definitely didn't leave that shot. That gem flying at my face is a uh, little unnerving. Well, there is a statue. It sure is a statue. Here's what I think of your statue, by the way. Exploding Witch number nine. Now, if you can just light the three rockets around here, my masterpiece shall be complete. <laughs> can do you. Contemptuous sounding person.
And there is the last one. No more statue. I forgot I hit this egg inside the statue. I hope the explosion didn't hard boil it. <sighs> really? Peanut. Fortunately, it appears to be fine. Oh, here's skate park number two, apparently. This looks slippery. It's not, but it looks it. Try to take care of as many of these gems as possible without getting on a skateboard. We we did get to, we did deal with most of the gems. We just now have to deal with this skateboard. I have to do some crazy thing like. I mean, it worked. I wish there was a way to get off of the skateboard without crashing. We're off the skateboard now. We got most of the gems. Is Let's talk to Doctor. This skateboard park you've ever seen? Once you've mastered a few tricks, you could really rack up a huge score in this place. What do you say I show you some moves? Why? Not? Start with something easy. You can jump off the end of ramps by pressing the jump button. I'll show you how to do it once. Then it's your turn. Okie doke. Because I totally have never done tricks before. That's not even a trick. Okay, now try doing a roll. You can roll in midair by holding down the action button while steering left or right with the left stick. Huh. Hey, nice roll. Now let's see you pull a flip. Flips are exactly like rolls, only you push forward or back on the left stick instead of left or right. Just jump off the ramp, hold down the action button, and press forward or back. Okay. Oh, you must be a natural. Now let's see if you can pull off a half pipe spin move. The blue ramps are half pipes. You can do a spin move by jumping at the top of the blue ramp, then steering left or right in the air. 
I seem to recall this one messing with me as a kid. Like when I was still trying to figure out how this is supposed to work. Alright, you nailed it! Now let's see if you can do a 900. Get as much height as you can, spin two and a half revolutions in the air, and land back on the ramp. <laughs> now that was a 900. I have to admit, you've got some skills, Spyro. But before you get too cocky, let's see if you can score some real points on the giant ski ramp. Do whatever moves you want and see how many points you can get. For 500 points, okay. <laughs> I think that was more than 500. Well, then again, you are being trained by a master boarder. Speaking of which, I was just practicing this nearly impossible new move that I call the Nasty Nork. I had just about pulled it off when suddenly I ran smack into this dragon egg and wiped out. Okay, I made that up, but you can still have this egg. So why is the move called the Nasty Nork? some one-on-one. -on -one. Want to try a freestyle competition for points? I mean, I guess... Right. Whoever scores the most points in the time limit wins. I think that's uh, probably enough points. Dang it. Ah. See if I can break 10,000. Ah, man. Well, I broke 10,000. That's gonna be all the points that I get. I can't believe it! How did you get so good already? Who knows? Maybe someday you'll even break my course record. <laughs> yeah, what's your course record, anyway, bud? I guess I should give you this other egg I found. I was gonna keep it for a pet, but I can't get it to hatch. Yes, yeah, cause you're not a dragon or a dragonfly. Ah, uh, I think that was supposed to be a fart joke. Go for the course record now if you want. Body, body, body. Ah, uh, let's see. Where, where, what was the ramp again for like the big points? It's a living thing that, you know, is is completely sapient eventually, and also is re apparently required for the world to function correctly. I 
Also, I don't know what the reference you were making there, Tyrion, but I'm guessing that's a song of some sort. Probably a song that's like in, uh... A Tony Hawk game or something. Superman by Goldfinger. Oh, uh, if I go crazy, then will you still call me Superman, that song? If I go crazy, then will you still call me Superman? If I'm alive, then when will you be there holding my hand? I'll keep you by my side with my superhuman mind. Oh. Of course it's a ska song. Why would I think otherwise? I am not having any luck with these super stunts. Yeah, I'm gonna have to try this course again. Ten thousand. So I did break. I did break it, Hunter! Why are you pretending like I didn't? I broke it. Like, accept the facts. I broke it during our freestyle competition. Well, that was a bit of a hard wipeout. <laughs> Not sure how that counted, but that's fine. Also, you get you get basically free points from jumping on the towers. There we go. Beat the record and then some. And that was for a skill point. <laughs> Uniracer's wet. I was kind of thinking that, J-Pops. Like, th that just makes me want to play Uniracer's. <laughs> Although I would say that if I ever play Uniracer's, I wouldn't be guaranteeing like getting all of the courses like getting all of the courses yes but not like getting gold on everything because those get really hard actually and then you get course nine and you have to deal with anti-uni
Also, I am very lost right now. I forget if I have to go, like, over here. Well, let's try it. Can I even make this glide? Oh, just barely. However, I think that went backward. I think that's where I need to go. You see that cage over there? If I can make it there, I can um, basically get uh, Sergeant Bird to do the rest of the work for me. transform back after a while. Some of them anyway. There we go. Yes, I'm trying to. Game, please. I'm ready to patrol the towers and the perimeter of the eyelids whenever you want me to. And right now would be great. Good to be back in action. I think this is the only um the only buddy substage that just happens on the actual stage. Also this so we can put my friend back together. Remember this from the first game? Uh, from the second game, rather? Remember how obnoxious it was? Yeah, what, what, if, we, what if we did that again? But to be fair, it wasn't quite so obnoxious in the first game. And in the original, uh... In the original trilogy. Did that break? No. I'm guessing there are probably some uh, some bombs that we can drop. Now that's interesting. Sergeant Bird just ate that rock. That wasn't supposed to happen.
Okay. I saw another one over to the tower next door here. too low here because otherwise I'll be caught in the abyss despite the fact that uh, Sergeant Bird here be perfectly able to um, you know, fly back out of it. Wow that just went right through. <laughs> I don't think that was supposed to happen either. Hey buddy, give me that. Okay, there are two left and one of them is over here. Now where's the last one? Fortunately with, like, if I Paying proper attention to the minimap here, I might be able to figure it out a little faster. Also, if you're wondering what this door is, um, they close off all of the uh, um, all of the side areas while Sergeant Bird is out and about. is probably somewhere not accessible to Spyro. This is very tall. Also the architecture on this is uh something else. It would have been probably a good idea for me to be paying attention to which ones I've actually hit while I was hitting them, rather than get to 7 and try to figure out where the 8th one is. Also, J-Pop, by the way, you're welcome. <laughs> There's the last one. Well, let's get this over with. This. I was going to keep it as a souvenir, but I don't have room in my luggage. Ralph. And here's something else that makes me Ralph. My friend is feeling much better now. Oh no, he started his bone dance again! His bone dance.
Yep, that was a bone dance. Stop that. Stop it immediately. <laughs> Comedy! Comedy? Anyway, I don't... Actually, I don't think that uh, Sergeant Bird is going to be able to do anything about the... Um, the smash boxes. Oh, that's gonna need to be Spyro somewhere. Was that the skate park? No, that's that's a different one. I was playing catch with my pet wolf Farley, but I pet accidentally his ball down this hole, and he went in after it. Now he's stuck down there. And I feel so helpless, sitting up here, listening to his steadily softening whimpers. Don't cry, wolf. Never cry, wolf. <laughs> you look awfully content and chill for someone who is, you know, desperately listening to his pet wolf dying. ball being quite so bouncy. Where did it go? I think I'm supposed to do this backward. Okay, you're standing on on the button now, so I can do this. This wolf, is, this wolf doesn't afraid of anything, just staring death in the face. Stand on that. Or do I have to... We might have to do this again the opposite way. Yeah, because you need the... you need the thing. I can just glide there. What does this button do? Okay. It's right over there. Oh my goodness, really? Why is this, why is the game being like this? Is it because it's like right against the... Okay, fortunately... There. Put it right on there. Press this button. There we go. I was supposed to stand on that.
Oh my goodness, why am I terrible? <sighs> Just stood on the button again. This dog is not particularly good at pathfinding. Okay, put it there. And it's up against the wall, so you can't get it. Nope, that's still against the wall. Let's put it there. Okay. There we go. Farley's been chewing on it, and it's kind of slimy. Oh well, it's the thought that counts, right? Kind of slimy, you say? Liz, what do you think about this? What do you think about the fact... What, what do you think about the fact that we've been sharing the same ball? Don't think about it too much. Okay, we're not done, apparently. Still this gem. I think that might have been the last one. Playing at the uh, exit portal, yep. Okay, so all that should be left in the stage now are the um, the smash boxes. So there's one of them. And the other one is over there. I think it was just the two. Yeah? Still some gems over there. Okay. Probably could have gotten them with uh, Sergeant Bird, but uh, didn't realize I still was missing gems. Now how do I get back over there? That's the burning question. Burning question. Here it is. Thank you for the zap, Zoe. Uh, what are you pointing at? Wait, is this something that I need to get with Sergeant Bird? Okay, let's go get Sergeant Bird. What? Oh, there's a there's a stone there.
At least now that the the uh, smash boxes are gone, um, Sparks won't try to won't try to direct me to the menu anymore. I'll just focus on the couple of gems that are missing. Okay, let's go and uh, dismiss Sergeant Bird and go back to, I think that was the skate park, because I apparently missed some gems there. I guess I must have just forgotten to, uh... I must have forgotten to actually do the, uh... The, the gem detector thing with sparks. Yeah, I never went down this path. That was the problem. That was the last of the gems. Half pipe leap. That's cool. And out we go. 500 gems richer. Okay. Feel like that stage was longer than it absolutely needed to be. A spooky swamp. Bamboo Terrace. We haven't done that one yet. us all day. The workers haven't been able to harvest the bamboo needed for the whirligig to take you to Evening Lake. We've tried asking them to leave, but there's no reasoning with them. That's quite the um, vacant smile you have for someone who's having who's having actual problems. the gimmick for the stage. I feel like with uh, with this game it's like a lot more clear cut. You're not just it's not the whole thing of an asshole saving assholes from bigger assholes. 
It's an asshole saving generally pretty innocent people from Rhinox. Well, thought that was enough distance, but apparently not. Dwight. Everybody's favorite game. How do I get up there? I think the answer is this way. Dang. I didn't jump off right at the edge, that's part of the problem. Okay, that one's on me. <laughs> well, it's mostly on me. There was also the fact that uh, it's absolutely not obvious that uh, from that angle that uh, you needed to jump. You appear to be stuck in a glitch, Spyro. <laughs> you know we need people stuck in glitches. Madison. Wait, isn't Madison a husky? Oh, okay. <laughs> Thanks for confirming that. I was not expecting the, the ear scratch. How do we get to that platform safely? Because I'm pretty sure it's not just a matter of jumping up to it from here. Oh, here we go. To all explorers, there is no Yeti here, and there never was. He, he was just a myth, as far as you know. The sorceress. Oh jeez! Well, <sighs> jumped a little too late for that one. The Yeti was clearly a weather balloon. <laughs> Also, I'm seeing those bamboos now. I'm guessing that's probably 
um, the skill point for this. Also, let's actually tag this guy. Emergency escape bridge. Why didn't I think of it sooner? I shall activate it right away. You only thought of that now? We would be honored if you would accept this as a token of our appreciation. Like, did I just hear a familiar cry? Yeah, I'm hearing that. Yeah, I know. Thank you. Yep. There we go. Well, that's right nearby. Right up there, in fact. Son of a bitch! Get out of the way, kid. I have to deal with this son of a bitch. Nope. Not quite. There we go. Peewee. That didn't really look like the Peewee I'm familiar with. Which is probably for the best. Side area. Let's see if we can find some more of that bamboo. I'm guessing that's the skill point. If there is one. I mean, it seems like seems like too obvious of a thing. Also, is there anything in this water? Yeah. That looked destructible. Oh! Let's casually have four lives. Alright. That probably wasn't nearly as obvious in the original. I was like, oh, you found this actual secret. I guess it's probably the last one. Yeah, still one, still one left. Back here. Okay, that's at the start. That's the last one.
There we go. Not the last of the gems, because there's at least one side area we haven't been to. Well, that's neat. Please help us, Spyro. My friends are trying to go home after a long shift in the fields. Those rotten Rhinox keep knocking them down. Can you save the panda workers? Please hop aboard. Make sure to toast the Rhinox, but not my friends. Okie dokie. Now, that's not actually a permanent super flame. It just doesn't go away. What? Okay, why is why is it that left is right? Hang on. I can't seem to turn that off, so I guess I'm just going to have to figure it out. Ah, dang it. I'm sure you would please help. Please help. Oh, these controls are massively uncomfortable. So that's it for loop one, but now there's another loop. I would be able to do this a lot better if my controls weren't reversed for some reason. I'm getting a lot of these long distance shots. There we go. Shiny egg. It will bring you good luck. I don't know, it's a little rusty. And yeah, that's uh yeah, that's everything here. There are no gems. Oh, extra life, nice. Anything in this one? Oh yeah, there we go. 
I don't think there's anything else. I'm definitely gonna need to make it across the hard way if I want to actually make it across at all. At the same time, I'm kind of looking for some more of the... Uh, wait, what? Down? Ah. Oh. All right then. Yeah, still looking for some more of that bamboo, because, uh... Just in case that's... Oh, the rest of them are in there. Okay, let's confirm the fact that, uh... Let's see, frozen altar is being... Nope, turns out the bamboo was a red herring. <laughs> Great. Anyway, the rest of the gems are in the Yeti zone. Which means to say that they don't actually exist. Our toll is no longer a round number. <laughs> anyway. Uh, swap did that. Country speedway. All right, let's do the speedway. I'm sure it's going to be a completely fair and honest race. Things, tractors, cows, and planes. one oh uh, it's probably too late now I mean yes definitely but uh, if you try to match the buzzing to the text box, you kind of see what they were going for. Because it does sound approximately right. Ah! 
So as soon as you miss one, that's it though. I would have just barely made that. <laughs> okay, that one's on me. So hoping to not run into any of the geometry this time, but this is not going to be that exception. Sparks is the only character that doesn't actually talk. He talks. He just doesn't talk purely English. Okay, not getting that cow is on. I was trying to be fancy. And maybe I'll get it anyway, who knows. Or maybe not. I know what that sign is that they're carrying. Actually was amazing, let's be real. Gavin. Here comes the race. Flying pigs. Okay, sure. Yes, I know how the race works. Why did I lose a bunch of speed there? Like, this ain't gonna work if I immediately just lose all that speed. By the way, this time there's missiles.
Well. Surprised they hit that. I am hitting something there. If I hit it exactly the wrong way, just immediately tanks all of my speed. I think the speed is going to be more important. And of course. Of course, of course. I'm not really sure what they want of you with these races. Like, I feel if you don't do them perfectly, you're just gonna get absolutely destroyed. Forgot to jump for the thing. making better time than my uh, previous good run. And then you're just gonna get stuck in the geometry apparently. That's perfectly fine. What? Really? Come on. And that's the trick, you gotta hit as many of these blue stars as possible. What? What did I... I don't even know what I ran into there.
That apparently counted. Although I don't actually agree with that, I thank the game for giving me the benefit of the doubt. Not really sure what happened there. the pathing is like slightly wrong. Where is first place anyway? There it is. Now I just have to maintain this and not miss any checkpoints. That at least didn't take as many tries as the first one. What do you think, Shem? But we are not done here. No, I'm not trying for a new record. I'm trying to find where the where the Hell Hunter is. <laughs> Officially a Superman 64 player. Oh Tyrion. Get a good look at these signs, by the way. I would say no pterodactyls. Okay. A house here. There we go. Hi, Hunter. Spyro, you're not gonna believe this, but there are sheep yeah. saucers and space cows all over this place. Sheep saucers and space cows. Somebody. I'm gonna strap on my jetpack and blast some space cows. Sure, you do that. Out, <laughs> What's a space cow? Oh, how did I miss you? Can't believe Hunter is somewhat useful in this, right? And those two still got and still got away. There are some weirdly slow bullets, let me tell you.
Come on, how did I miss you again? Same one, dude. And then there's like three at once, and it's like... Go screw yourself, I guess? He doesn't even have the decency to say, like, I can't believe I let one get away. He just says exactly the same thing as though he had, excuse me, as though he hadn't just failed. Only there was another flying creature who was able to help us. Also, we're apparently saving the lives of, like, Muppets? That was happening? Like, they straight up look like Muppets. Like, cowboy Muppets. There we go. Got the last one just before he abducted this egg! Raboido. Comes with his own protective force field. None of them. Uh, Sparks, let's go. Honestly, the the speedways are the ones that feel like they should be the most fun. They kind of miss the mark. They just end up being like really stressful. Anyway, I think this is the last one. You don't seem to be very good at this. Perhaps you'd like some help. Uh, I was supposed to meet Doug to go ice fishing today, but Rhinox have blocked the path with ice so I can't get through. I've been trying to clear the way with this cannon, but it doesn't even shoot straight. I haven't been able to hit a dang thing all morning. Yeah, I don't think that's a cannon problem. That sounds like a you problem. 
It shoots in perfectly straight lines. What are you talking about? that one from downtown uh, probably not yep. sparks I know you're kicking back there but uh, you need to be a little bit more proactive about these gems, buddy. Ah, uh, these crates do have gems in them. Good to have that confirmed with my own eyeballs. I decided that. All right, we're not going to go for a whole lot longer, J-Pop, but uh, if you got to go to bed, then you got to go to bed. So thanks for hanging out. I also just realized that's a thing that I need to do. I need to break that again. I don't know if I specifically need to hit this guy again, but uh, I won't do it. There we go. That way, if he's going to be any sort of hindrance, well, he won't be. Anyway, this is how we get over here. I kind of missed that the first time. I think we already got the gems here, so we don't need to worry about those again. here seems different. I wonder if maybe we were to pound it! Okay, this ice, th this water is probably not particularly um, hospitable. I feel like a cold-blooded uh, creature such as Spyro here would probably pass out immediately and die shortly thereafter. the other hand, you help me get through this wall, yes. Very silent TNT. Alright then. I don't know which way is progress. I'm going to assume this is probably not. Ow. 
Or maybe it is, I don't know. All I know is, I got hit twice, and that ain't great. I just got a Zoe Zap, so this is probably progress. I said... white. You gotta be a genius to calculate those, uh, those trajectories. It's gonna take a little bit more than uh, a high score at Advent of Code to uh, figure that one out. Speaking of Advent of Code, by the way, I did end up solving Day 24 just before Christmas EST, uh, just before midnight on Christmas EST. You know what I'm trying to say. Anyway, I'm counting it as part of my uh, final score, which gives me a final score of 46, which does beat last year's score of 45. Basically, the thing that ended up being like the difference between this might take a minute or it might take a hundred million years to bring to bring it from that to um, now nah, this actually just takes a few minutes was um, basically caching any work that I've already done, and so we don't redo the work again. I almost fell to my doom. That's great. Maynard. I think your springs might be slightly loose there, Maynard. Hmm. How do I get there? Please go in the correct direction, Spyro. Yeah, no, I wasn't getting up there. So how do I get up there? The game that will last through the ages. Would I be able to glide from there? I don't think so. Don't think there's anything else to blast here. I'm able to make this glide. I feel like before trying I should probably go have a talk with Zoe.
Oh, what do you want, money bags? Behind this door is the single greatest show on earth. Is it ice dancing? Ice dancing. Unavailable, but you'll have to act fast. Hmm. Okay, fine. I always knew you were a cultured sort of dragon. Well, step right in. The show's about to start. I'll put this on your tab. I'm pretty sure I'm not supposed to be on the ice when observing a an ice dancing performance. My big ice dance performance, and these hockey players are ruining it. Every time I start my routine, they come in and smack me with their sticks. Oh, I sure wish I had a partner. Someone courageous, strong, handsome, and purple who breathes fire. Oh, purple. Okay. Well, I guess that's not me. Will you please help me perform my ice dance? These mean Rhinoc hockey players keep hogging the ice, and all I want to do is dance. Oh, fine. Hey, let's go. I don't know whose idea it was to book both the hockey players and the ice dancing performance on the same day. Not seeing any triple sow cows. <laughs> hey, first try. We did it! That was my best performance ever. I guess one of the judges didn't like it though. He threw this egg at me instead of a rose. Why don't you have it? <sighs> he threw this egg. I'll give it to you. Maybe you can be my ice dancing partner in the next Olympics. Uh, I don't think we need to worry about uh, rogue hockey players in the Olympics. <laughs> Many bags didn't care there was a hockey match. I'm one of the judges for tonight's performance. It's already happened, buddy. Forget about it. Anyway. Let's see if we can die. That was totally makeable. And there's there's really only one thing that money bags cares about, and that is filling his money bags. He's so obsessed with them he named himself after them. Also, I could be remembering incorrectly, but I'm thinking back to the original game. And I think that the NPCs in this area talk something like this, really close to the mic and like a really buzzy kind of 
a voice like this. Apparently decided to go with the, uh... I, I'm not sure if it's supposed to be Midwestern or Canadian, but one of the two. so Bob wouldn't beat me to the ice fishing hole. If you want to tray up the hole, you can borrow this fishing lure I've been using. That is definitely not a fishing lure. That is Chet. Yeah, I, I agree with that sentiment, Chet. Ooh, by the way, feel free to use our gondola whenever you want. Gondola! I feel like I was kind of moving around on that thing. Like it would have just thrown me into the uh, into the oblivion if I had just let it. You shot the ice. Yeah. Uh, we got all the. No, we didn't get all the uh, all the eggs. In fact. If you saw those, the, the name of the next one on the list, I believe we are dealing with at least a couple of sons bitches. get up there like serious question right now because I can't get up there from here spider please Yep, I'm aware that there are gems over there. Can to help me look for a way to get those gems there, Spark Soul buddy? Because that is not going to work like any time this year. The only thing I can think of is, like, maybe I can glide from there to there, but... What is the way to get there? Oh. I definitely can't glide that. And how, though? 
Oh, you see that ledge over there? That's how. But, now the question is how do I get to that ledge? Okay, um, as you see the return home po portal is there, and then there is another platform there, which I should be able to use to get to that whirlwind, which hopefully will allow me to land on that platform there. Oh, there's also a staircase there, you see that? That takes me to a sub area. Oh, this is going to be entirely unpleasant. I kind of wish that I had, like, permanent super flame, because then I'd be able to just take out that one, that red one, you see him? For that matter, take out the yellow one too, because both of them are going to be a problem. But considering I can't do that, there's only one thing to do, so rich! I'm really glad that it actually uh, warped me back to this point because otherwise I was falling into the abyss there. And now for you. Son of a bitch! What? I didn't have nearly enough speed for that jump. Also, I have no idea where that son of a bitch went. Where did he go? Ah. Oh, come on, really? Oh, come on! Spyro, please. Like, the problem here is that I, like, if I lose them, I lose them. And there's, like, multiple paths, and you don't really know which way to go. And then there's always the possibility that you might end up outrunning him and ending up in front of him. In which case, then you're kind of just running for nothing. Or you might just make a dumb jump at some point. 
I didn't even see where I was aimed at. And where is the son of a bitch? Oh, there you are. Son of a bitch! Spyro! What are you doing? Getting stuck on stupid pieces of geometry. <sighs> I didn't see I did see that side cave there with a bunch of gems in it, so. There we go. Scout. Yeah, for how for how fast that son of a bitch was going. That's a good name. Now I just need to remember where that cave was. Definitely not down. Yeah, how about I slow it down for a second? Basically just go some distance into... into this track here and then Assess my situation, my surroundings. There it is. So, where are we going? To this bunch of gems. I need to like hook around here and <sighs> there we go. Oh, and then I need to be actually precise and hit that strong box. Cool beans. There we go. Got it. I think you're pointing to the exit portal. Yep. Alright, back up the stairs. Sorry I'm going a little bit over today, but uh... I want to at least finish this stage. Yeah, that does take me to this platform, okay. I think that's how I'm supposed to smash that ice. And 
that allows us to go all the way over here and get these gems, which are the last gems of the stage, and this egg containing Reese, the last egg of the stage. Let's see it. There it is. Okay. So with that, let's head on over to the Whirly Gig. We've actually finished all of the stages uh, from Midday Garden and can move on to our next area. But I've already gone over, and I don't feel like going over even more. Also, this red title screen. That's a little scary. Anyway, that's going to do it for today. Thank y'all for watching. Uh, the next scheduled stream is going to be on Sunday at 8 p.m. or later Atlantic Standard Time. It is the um, Super New Year Shuffle. <laughs> I guess, provided that we have at least two players like last week, uh, last weekend rather, um, it's still going to happen, so if you want to hang out, do feel free to do so. And uh, considering we don't have another stream on the schedule, that just takes us round the week, round the wheel to our next uh, long run stream. We're going to finish off Probably, anyway, Spyro Reignited Trilogy. I think I can safely call it a finish or bust stream, because I'm pretty sure we're going to be able to finish it in the next stream. And also over at uh, picarto.tv slash Felicitous Neko, which I should probably put like a notice on this screen about here, like I do on the other channel. Um, we're going to be doing some code creator stuff. I want to do one last shot at Day 19 of Advent of Code. I'm not going to count it uh, toward my final score. My final score is 46 and that doesn't change because it's past Christmas now. But I would like to be able to finish it if at all possible, especially Day 19 because it's the only day that I haven't gotten any stars in. Uh, I can also review the things that I ended up doing for day 24 and also the fix that I did for day 25. Uh, I did fix the hacks code, so it was a pretty easy fix too, so I'll just go over that real quick. But that's going to be tomorrow at some point. Um, I don't really have a specified time for that, but uh, yeah. if you're around, feel free to drop by. Anyway, that's enough babbling. Thank y'all for watching, and thank you Tyrion and j for hanging out. I'm Cooley if you don't know, and I'll see you guys next time.